Hello students, in this video we'll discuss self-financing portfolios. Given a collection of stocks, S1, S2, all the way up to SM, and a bond, A, N, we have a portfolio whose value at time N is given by the following. The sum, J goes from 1 to M, I will have XJ N, SJ N, plus Y N A N, where the coefficients of SJ and A are the amount of shares you have between times N minus 1 and N. So here, XJ of N is the number of shares held in SJ between time N minus 1 and N. We will say a portfolio is self-financing if the sum J goes from 1 to M of XJ N plus 1 S J N plus Y N plus 1 A N is equal to V N. This expression says that if you know how much you'd like to invest between time n and n plus 1, if you can invest that amount given your current value of your portfolio, then you can continue investing it indefinitely, meaning that this investment strategy will sustain itself. And so the main result is that if you're given a predictable set of coefficients, x1, xm, meaning that if you look at the set of predictable coefficients at time n plus 1, it is known in the history at time n and below. There is a way to construct a self-financing predictable set of coefficients with the addition of a bond. So a bond can be used to take a predictable collection of coefficients for stock prices and make that collection a self-financing strategy. And the basic idea of this is the following. We would like, so our initial value of our portfolio, in the case where there's just one stock, will be V0, and that'll be X1 of 1, S1 at 0, plus Y1, A of 0. So if at the initial time we did not know if we just had this, we had x1 stocks of s1 at time 0, we would set, we could solve this equation for y1, and this would tell us that if I did not know y1 at the initial time, that y1 would be v of 0 minus x1 of 1, s1 of 0 over a 0. And there would be minus other terms over here if there were more stocks. So we can set this to be our value of y1 
And then we can say if we want our v1, our value of v1 will therefore be x1, 1, s1, 1, plus y1, which we've just defined, a of 1. And we would like this to be, what we want, is that this is x1, 2, s1, plus y2, a1. And from this representation, we can now solve for y2. This will tell me that y2 will be v1, which we can now find, since we have these things deterministically, minus x1, 2, s1, 1, over a1, and again, minus the other terms if there are more stocks in the portfolio. So at every step in the iteration, we write down the condition which tells us what, when a portfolio is self-financing and use that together with the previous value of the portfolio to find the number of bonds that you should invest to self-finance a predictable strategy. Thank you very much.